Atticus9799 here with a new installation of the Prepper's Pantry. Today we're going to make some um, hash brown potatoes with onions and like for breakfast because it's right now it's Sunday morning and I just purchased a couple of different assorted cases of um, food storage items. They're all freeze-dried dehydrated foods and I wanted to show you that even in um, you know this isn't just for a preparedness situation these things are really great to have on hand for instance when Molly says hey mom can you make some hash browns and I forgot to buy potatoes so let me show you what we have these companies in no way endorse me or pay me to pr promote their product um, Honeyville uh, you can go to Honeyville Grains online they have a fabulous assortment of uh, food pantry items for food storage preparation and uh, this is just dehydrated potato shreds there is nothing in here besides shredded potatoes and sodium okay sodium bisulfate which is a preservative yes but it's what they spray on the potatoes before they before they dehydrate them the majority of their products are either freeze-dried or dehydrated and you can get a variety of items from them and I really love their product um, they also make a dehydrated onion, but um, I did not want to open up that giant can since I already have just, you know, this is just your dehydrated chopped onion that you get. This is my, my big spices, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that. The other thing I will tell you is I have two coffee makers. One we use for coffee. Sometimes we use both for coffee in the wintertime. But on a regular basis, I make, um, I make my iced tea in the other one, and right now I run some hot water through it. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take two cups of these dehydrated potatoes, or thereabouts, and I'm gonna put them in this bowl. I'm gonna use my hands. There, we'll eyeball that, okay? And then the other thing I do with my food storage is I do write the month that I purchased the item on the top because they say that this will last up to 10 years once, um, if you don't open it, as long as it's sealed. This also comes packaged with an oxygen absorber inside and um, it says that it will be good for, um, for 10 years. Once you open it, they do they do say you should use it within six months, but I'm pretty sure that you'll be safe if it lasts a little bit longer. I don't think that's gonna last six months in my house, but because I'm planning on using this stuff. My dehydrated onion. I'm gonna do it in a separate bowl. I'm gonna do a half a cup, or about that much, because that's what wanted to come out. Um, and what I'm gonna do now, is going to take my hot water. It says just to put hot water in just to cover the potatoes. See, and that's good because you're just going to drain them later. And then I'm going to do the onion. Just like that. Now these have to sit for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, we're going to come back and I'm going to show you what happens next. Okay. In all honesty, it's been a while. I've been doing other things and I just let these sit in the hot water. I'd say it's been like 40 minutes, but you know, no worries. The onions started to uh, rehydrate almost immediately. There's hardly any water left in the bottom of this bowl, you can see, but we're gonna go ahead and, I don't know if I'm gonna rinse that out. I may just use that the way it is, so. But look at the potatoes. This water is still pretty hot. There's still a lot of water down here. But these um, potatoes have rehydrated beautifully. You can see. And now I'm gonna rinse them. I'm just gonna drain them. Pardon me, I'm not gonna rinse them. I'm gonna drain them. We don't wanna get rid of all that good starch that's in there because that's gonna make for some good hash browns. So we're just gonna go ahead and give those a toss. And I don't know that I'm gonna use all of these onions but um, you know we'll go we'll see what we can do here I have uh, I have heating up some oil which is not hot yet in my cast iron skillet and we're just gonna fry up some uh, some hash browns so I'm gonna fry up the hash browns 
and uh, all I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna toss those potatoes and those onions in that frying pan I'm gonna season it with a little seasoned salt and cracked black pepper and um, when when I come back um, I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when I put it in the pan because it has the consistency of perfectly grated potatoes and you didn't have to go to all the work of doing it all you had to do was pour some hot water over it it's good pure ingredients and this company does sell non-gmo foods so that makes me feel good so I'll be back in just a minute I want to wait for my oil to heat up a little bit more I have about I don't know a quarter of an inch of oil in the bottom of that I didn't really measure I just free pour it out of the bottle <laughs> And I know that I'm not going to use all these onions, but I like them oniony, so I'm going to use about that much onion. And this, you know, this translates to the equivalent of a freshly chopped onion. If you like more or less onion, please use what you like. Okay, I'm just going to fry these up. And I'll be back to show you the finished product. Here we go. I'm just going to give these one last look, look at that. I am very, very pleasantly surprised with how delightful these look. Now, I personally, not a big hash brown fan, but Rick and Molly both love them. Um, so they're going to eat these, and we'll probably have some left over. But I thought I'd fix you a little plate with some hash browns and some bacon. That's a nice little light breakfast. <clears throat> We're going to have some other things with breakfast this morning. But there you go. Molly will drown that in ketchup. But I think that looks pretty good. So give this a try. If you're just getting started with the uh, food storage and you have questions or issues, ask me a question. I don't have a lot of experience, but there's a lot of information available out there on the internet and you just don't know until you try it. You know, you may invest a couple hundred dollars buying some variety packs from Honeyville um, or Thrive. Thrive is another good place. Uh, that's shelfreliance.com or honeyvillegrain.com. Like I said, neither one of these companies have endorsed, have asked me to endorse their product and nor have I been paid by them to de demonstrate. I just wanted to show you what I've done and how I'm learning how to use them. This is the first time I've used it and you saw it as it happened. We're gonna eat these, they smell really good and I'm sure that they taste equally as good. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, ask. And if I don't know the answer, I'll do my best to direct you in a, in a, in a place where you can find the answer. <clears throat> so I hope you try this and I hope you enjoy it. Oh, and one more thing, the dehydrated hash browns. Betty Crocker does make a box on the shelf of dehydrated hash browns. Just don't use the seasoning packet that comes with it because it's full of sodium and crap. Use the dry potatoes, that's all those are, and do what I did. Soak them, fry them up, and enjoy. So, until next time, I hope you try this, and I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you later.